Welcome to this Sonic Wall tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how service providers and distributed enterprises can use Capture Client to easily scale global operations and alert management across multiple tenants. Capture Client helps service providers and distributed enterprises drive efficiencies and scale operations across multiple tenants. For service providers, one of the most important features of any product is the ability to define scope, and Capture Client's scope of operations defines a hierarchy for performing operations across an entire account, for individual tenants within an account, or for groups within a tenant. Service providers can use Capture Client's scope selector to switch between the account and tenant scopes from the dashboard page. This drill-down capability allows admins to analyze threats, review applications and their vulnerabilities, monitor devices across tenants, or configure policies at the account level. Capture Client also supports the monitoring of web activity and the generation of reports at the account scope. To see how this works, we'll log into Capture Client, where we can view the account dashboard. The tenant table lists all tenants within our account, along with key information like infected devices, unresolved threats, vulnerable applications, offline devices, inherited policies, and active licenses. The global dashboard also shows which tenants have the most blocked web requests, the most blocked categories, a ranking of the client versions that are running across all tenants, and the top-ranked threats. We can also see the most recent threat detections, along with the threat details, tenant name, affected devices, and mitigation status. We can switch to the tenant scope by selecting a tenant from the drop-down menu, or by clicking a tenant name in the table. The Capture Client Help Center button is available within any scope. The Announcements link shows information about new releases and product maintenance, while Technical Docs gives you access to Capture Client knowledge base articles, release notes, and the Administrator Guide. We can customize tenant settings by clicking the Management link in the left menu and selecting Tenant Settings. Basic settings include the ability to add a custom logo to a report, which is very useful for generating reports that are branded with your company's logo. To change the logo, click the Upload Logo icon, select your image file, then click the Upload button. Client customization lets you customize the message that appears in the support section of the Capture Client Agent's user interface. We can see the effect of this change by opening an endpoint running Capture Client, then clicking Support, where we can see the custom message we created. You can enter important information into the tenant notes window, like the customer's contract ID or type. This information is visible to Capture Client admins only. The tenant settings section includes information like tenant ID, name, and token. This section also shows your ConnectWise Manage ID and name if you've integrated your ConnectWise Manage PSA instance with MySonicWall and are syncing Capture Client data to ConnectWise. Attached Firewalls shows a list of appliances that have Capture Client enforcement enabled and are sharing Capture Client licenses. Email and Notification Settings let you enable email notifications, enter a recipient for email alerts, and set the default time zone for emails. You can choose to include the tenant name in the email subject line and toggle between HTML and plain text format for emails. Notification Settings let you configure alerts for threat, device, license, and management events. The Threats tab lets you enable alerts for a variety of threat categories, set the alert severity level, and enable email alerts. Once you've configured the alert, toggle the Create Alert button to activate it. Device Events provides similar functionality for device-related alerts and allows you to configure thresholds for devices that are offline or require a reboot. The License tab lets you generate alerts for license expiration events. The Management tab lets you generate alerts for management events, including reports ready for download, notification of planned maintenance, the availability of new software versions, and end of support notices. Syslog settings lets you configure the server your Capture Client syslogs will be sent to. You can enter a host name or an IP address and specify your server's port number. You can select a TLS secure connection if your server supports TLS. You can also specify the logging format. When you're done configuring your tenant, click the Confirm button to save your settings, then click Done to close the settings window. We'll generate a new report that includes the custom logo we uploaded to the tenant settings. We'll click the Reports link and start by entering a name for the new report. We want our report to cover the last 24 hours, but we can also select one of the pre-configured time periods or create a custom range. 
This will be a general overview report that also includes the list of alerts and threat history. The report will be output in PDF format and we can choose to download the report file or have it emailed to us. We'll select download, then click the request report button, which automatically takes us to the reports tab. Reports can take a few minutes to generate depending on the amount of data they include, and we can click the refresh button to see if our report is ready. The report is ready for download when the generation time and date show up, so we can now click the download button to get our new report. When we open the report, we can see the cover page with the custom logo we uploaded in the tenant settings. The cover page also includes tenant name, the requester's name, and the timestamp. And the report includes all the data we selected during the report generation process. To learn more, visit sonicwall.com slash capture client.